Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank God, still alive. Yeah. You're a, you're a difficult man to get hold of. Yes, I generally don't interview, but uh, given the circumstances and the bad press that's out there, I decided that uh, we need to do some damage control. Jacob Fauci is an American Israeli. He became infamous after Mana confronted him and the video went viral. Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. Yeah, you are watching. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No, no, no one, no one uh, is allowed to steal it, Yammi. He's been living in an additional part of Mana's house for over 10 years after being recruited by a US-based company called Nahala Shimon International, which owns the property under Israeli law. How did you end up here? It's a long story. Basically, I needed to move from where I was, and uh, my friend it was, was very, very active in this neighborhood. And he said, you can stay here for the time being. Do you pay rent? I have an arrangement with, uh, with the owners of the house. I don't want to get into personal arrangements and rents and things, but yes, I'm a tenant here. I'm not, I have no ownership over this property. You're from Brooklyn? No, I'm from New York, from Long Island. From New York. What right do you have to live here? The right I have is that the owner of the house wants me to live here, and he wants there to be Jews living in this house, and he wants to... And I, I got chosen for whatever reason, it ended up being me. So why me, do you live uh, here? So, because I live here, because it's important, and because not too many people want to live here, and it's important to, to strengthen this neighborhood, to make sure that this neighborhood is not lost in any future peace deal. <laughs> This is not their ancestral lands. They have not been here for generations. They came here in 1956 because they had nowhere else to be and somebody illegally put them here. Whatever they're accusing me of is, is, is no different from what they're doing and what they did. So your but position it, here is a political position to keep Palestinians out of it? Not to keep Palestinians out of it, to keep Jews in it. And therefore not keep out. the Palestinians who were here out of it? No, not, that, that's not, no. That's, an un, that's, a, that's a necessary evil. Whatever situation is, and that's what I was trying to explain in that viral video, they're not coming back here. This part of the house for sure is lost. The second part of the house, unless there's some major miracle, is going to be lost. And they're not coming back into here. So whether I am here, whether I am not here, whether it's me, whether it's someone else, whether it's a monkey, whether it's a giraffe, they're not coming back into this house ever. I understand why they're angry at me. I understand why they dislike me. But I did not do this to them. I'm not doing this to them. And as I said, if I leave, I'll be replaced immediately. And I venture to think that whoever comes here is not going to be as easygoing as I am.